Hello, my name is Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am finally doing the last part of my poetry reading project. Um, if you haven't uh, already seen the other two parts, I'm going to link them down below. I would highly recommend starting with the first one uh, because then it will all make sense. Um, but I've been working from a list of recommended reading from Jen Campbell of books that she has read and recommended and then some books um, that she's been looking forward to this year, which I think she's already read some on her and talk about on her channel, but you know, there we go. So go check her out. Amazing poetry recommendations. She's definitely my go-to poetry person. So yeah, let's start talking about some of these poetry collections. Now, I filmed the first three that, and I had them in hand and I had like places marked to read and I filmed it um, and then I lost the file. So if you publish videos, you know stuff like that happens all the time. So I'm gonna talk about them again, but I just won't have sections of those particular three to where you just know that I like them all and that you should go read them. So let's get started. So the first one I wanna talk about is Testify by Simone John. And this is actually includes the collection that was recommended called Collateral. Now I'm very glad that I got both collections in this single volume because each side talks about the different experiences of uh, police violence against the African Americans in the United States. And so one is about the more male experience and one is about the more female experience. Um, both sections are incredibly moving. John does an amazing job of talking about what it's like on a very emotional level but also on a very real level. One of my favorite poems is about a mom who is having to go around the house and she's picking up her son's items after he's been killed. Another one is about different uh, women who were witnesses to shootings and then on the man side of course is just the experience of all the violence and knowing that your life is probably going to be shorter uh, because of police violence and just what that means to you and what that does to you. It's a very incredible and moving collection. I would highly recommend it to anyone and everyone. Um, one of the lines that really stayed with me is that uh, that black men age in dog years and that has really just it's just an image that stays with you um, because you know, a lot of black men die young. So uh, it's a very moving collection and just, goodness, I just have no words. So go read hers, go read hers instead. Uh, the next one I wanna talk about is Stranger Baby by Emily Berry. And this one talks about, um, I believe the author is grief about losing her mom. So she uses ocean and water imagery throughout the entire collection to communicate her different feelings and just um, the way her grief is. So her grief is kind of like vast, like an ocean. Um, her mom is cooling, soothing presence like an ocean. But at the same time, when she thinks about her, it's also tumultuous like an ocean. She uses beautiful word imagery and there's the structure within a lot of poems to communicate those feelings. I really enjoy this poetry collection and the images that it has and how it dealt with grief and just a lot of different things going on in it. Um, it is a really good poetry collection. She just does a lot of moving things and sometimes she'll like have a conversation with her mom and the poetry and then you just lose it, man. So just know it is, it is really good. The next one I want to talk about is Measures of Expatriation by Vani Capilio. Um, any help with pronunciation will be great. Uh, this is about a woman who immigrated from Trinidad to I believe the UK and uh, this poetry collection is like a hundred pages and it's really dense. A lot of it is prose poems and she kind of talks about her experience um, as a woman of color moving about the UK. Um, but she also has some more traditionally styled um, structured poems and the different forms. Um, which is, she, so she's talented in just both areas and she shows a lot of versatility. But I will say because so much of the collection is prose poems, there are really dense blocks of text. So I am so glad that I am reading this, I read this poetry collection at the end of this project because I think if I had picked it up at the beginning, I would have been so incredibly overwhelmed um, because you really just have to, it's really difficult, she really makes you work for it, which is not bad, but it's just, you know, not one I would recommend for people who just want to get, you know, have an easy access point to getting into poetry. But it's so incredibly good and yeah, just all three of these that I don't have with me right now are really good and I wish I could read to them, um, from them to you, but alas, I do not have them because of technical problems. Anyway, however, I have the rest of them right here and I actually have two extra for you because I was like, I love poetry now so I'm gonna pick up more, which I think is the whole point of this project, which makes me really happy. 
the next poetry collection I want to talk about is Blue Triumphant by John Terry Gadson. And I think I'm putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable of her first name because he actually talks about that in the poetry collection. But I really enjoyed this poetry collection because she has um, in the beginning this poem and then at the end of the, like, the stanza, the first last line is like the first line in the next stanza and that line is actually repeated as a section in the collection. So she really committed to that structure. And I think if you like the structure, you'll like the poetry collection. If you don't, you won't like the poetry collection. I really enjoyed it. So, you know, but her poetry is really, really beautiful. And I really liked what she does. I was very pleasantly surprised, which is how much I loved it. So here is um, the title poem, Blues Triumphant. I am a medley of waterfalls, their loud shush. I am a forgotten porch dog, not the mutt, but his memories. I'm a hidden in a secret crease, a penny pressed down under. I'm a bullet's hole singing a wound song into blood. I am grief rising between windows of peaks. I am rain and the scent of rain. And the poem goes on and she continues with that imagery. And I really appreciate how she has concrete images. And a lot of times if it, there's not a narrative in a poem, I struggle to follow along sometimes. But when the poet uses such concrete images, I'm able to see it in my mind. And it's really great the way that she does that. I remember, um, I think Pelican also does a similar thing. So I really enjoyed these poems and I would definitely recommend this poetry collection. Um, the next one is Wishing for Birds by Elizabeth Hewer. Um, and this poetry collection, um, I found a little different. I found uh, some poems I really liked, some poems I didn't really didn't like, but overall I thought it was fairly consistently good. And in fact, some of the poems I really loved. So I'm going to read part of one to you. So this one is titled Girl C. I keep calling you an ocean, implying powerful, meaning careless. I am at the beach as a storm comes in. I wish you didn't want to be like the water. You're like the waves. You break it as many times as you build. You're writing manuals on how to be ferocious, but you're coming apart at the seams. And I really love, I really love water imagery and poetry I'm learning. And like nature imagery, I guess, is really something I really enjoy. And uh, she really does a great job with that. Um, she also obviously has some bird imagery in here and some di just, just some different discussions of things. I will say, looking back on it, it's not one of the most memorable poetry collections that I've read, but um, I think it's something that if I reread it, I would find a lot of depth to, um, especially to some of the poems that I really enjoyed. So um, that's this one. So the last poetry collection is What is Amazing by Heather Crystal. Um, this is the last one on the list, I should say. Um, and this one, I didn't enjoy as much as a lot of the other poetry collections. Um, I just felt it was okay like it was good like if I wrote this I would be very ecstatic that I wrote this but I think I'm beginning to learn more what I like in poetry and different things and so uh, one of the poems I really enjoyed is called all things bright and beautiful and let's see if I can read this ideas come from the ocean they walk out there they just can't wait a crawler comes from there also wants some beauty and while the idea of people is over we will walk by back there and make some jokes toward commanding the waves like we like we are long dead kings with the knack for rhetorical gesture and that is how the ocean will remember us i think you'll notice that there is almost zero punctuation in that poem and that is why i find it really hard to read because i can't read all of it without pausing and taking a breath but a lot of her poems are like that which i found very interesting um, so that is What is Amazing by Heather Crystal. So uh, bonus round. So one of the poetry collections I picked out for myself was Whereas by Laylee Long Soldier. Um, this is what I read for Indigenous Peoples Day because Columbus Day is not something I really want to celebrate. Um, so this is an amazing collection by a Native American poet and she really plays around with form. So you can't really see this that well but you read this all the way through with the cross lines and then you can read it again without the cross lines and it means something different. She does that um, as well with structure of her poems. So I have two columns and then instead of reading them like in order back and forth like you normally would, you have to read one and then the other. But then if you read them like you normally would, they mean something different. And she does that so incredibly well. Um, I, I thought it was great. One of my favorite poems um, is called 38 and it's really long so I can't really read all of it to you but it's all of these like declarative sentences and she talks a lot about punctuation and how that affects how you read things and I really enjoyed it uh, how that was she talks a lot about history um, some Native American history but uh, the second half of this poetry collection is called whereas and it's about um, her reaction to Obama's apology 
to how America treated the Native Americans um, and his lack of the word genocide and just how a lot of things were wrong with it um, and in and her, and her experience and different things and so I, I really love this poetry collection. I really hope it wins the National Book Award because it's one of the finalists so this is the one that I'm going to be cheering for um, because I always watch it live because I'm that kind of nerd. <laughs> the last poetry collection I'm going to talk about is uh, Nice Guy with Exit Wounds by Ocean Vuong. I first saw this on Jen Campbell's channel. Um, it recently won an award um, and this is about a Vietnamese refugee and his mom um, who went to America and his grandma was raped by a white soldier and that's how his mom came to be and then also his dad um, was abusive and so he deals with a lot of that. He is also a queer man of color and so that's also complicates his life and so he talks about that in this poetry collection. I found the poems uh, individually very interesting and th just what he does within a poem was just very, I, I don't know how to describe it, like though his word choice and everything was just so tight and, and perfect. Um, the first poem in the collection um, is called Threshold and it goes, In the body where everything has a price. I was a beggar. On my knees I watched through the keyhole. Not the man showering, but the rain falling through him. Guitar strings snapping over his globed shoulders. He was singing, which is why I remembered it. His voice, it filled me to the core like a skeleton. Even my name knelt down inside me, asking to be spared. He was singing, it is all I remember. From in the body where everything has a price, I was alive. I didn't know there was a better reason. That one morning my father would stop, a dark colt paused in downpour. I listened for a clutched breath behind the door. I, I didn't know the cost of entering a song was to lose your way back. So I entered, so I lost. I lost it all with my eyes wide open. And when I first read that I was just blown over and the entire collection is like that and it's just really, it's a really fantastic collection. So I'm very happy that I found it. So that is this one, definitely go read it. I've been very excited to do this poetry reading project. Now at the end, I'm going to now include all the poetry just in my wrap-ups. Um, I hope to continue reading poetry. Uh, last year I did this with graphic novels and I've kept reading graphic novels this year, so I hope the same thing happens with my poetry reading. So that is uh, very exciting to see. So yeah, if you've read any of these poetry collections or if you've gotten to poetry uh, recently, just let me know also. But otherwise, I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.